In this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to do a blur exposure transition. And this is a really nice looking transition and it's really easy to do. So it won't take us long. Okay, so the first thing we'll do is we need a new adjustment layer. So we'll go to new or layer, new and create an adjustment layer. And then we're going to go 10 frames in from the middle of where the clips join. So one, two, three, four, ten over here. Cut the adjustment layer. And then same thing on the other side. We're going to go 10 frames over here and cut and delete the rest. Okay, now we're going to use a BCC Lens Blur OBS. So if you have the BCC plugin, you'll have this. If you don't have that um, or you can get it, you can get it from my Discord. Otherwise, just use any lens blur. It works for, for any of them, really. Uh, this one, I just think, is one of the nicer ones. Okay, so drag the blur onto the layer. Then we're going to start at the iris scale here. Hit the stopwatch, start it on zero at the start of the frame. Change the gamma here to, to 900. Okay, now we're going to hit U to bring up the keyframes here. Now what we're going to do, one frame in from where they join, we're going to create a, a key marker here with the iris scale. I'm going to set that to about... We're going to go, we'll go to 15, so around sort of 12 to 16, so I normally use. Now one frame in from the other clip, we'll create another one and just leave it at 15. And then go to the end of the clip and make it at zero. Okay, so the blur is going to hold across here. Now we'll go into the keyframes, highlight them all, F9 for easy ease. Now we'll just drag the graph in like this, just hold shift and drag it along the bottom. This one here, in like this, keep this the same, um, just drag this one a bit. So this is the blur sort of holding here. And then go to this side and take this one off the wall just a little bit like this, okay? So that will create the blur. So you can change that as much or as little as you want just by changing this number here um, from, yeah, 12 to sort of 16. Next up, we're gonna add the exposure. So we're gonna go two frames in from the start search up exposure um, under color correction add that click on the exposure stopwatch here on zero now go right to the middle where the the clips line up and we will go uh, click on you on the keyboard to bring down the drop drop arrow here key marker this exposure and we're just going to go on we're going to go to one so anywhere between one and three is good um, but some clips like that are already a bit brighter you don't want to go too much higher and then we'll drop the other exposure stopwatch in the end at zero then that will create the exposure transition um, highlight the keyframes and it's going to be a very similar graph to this to the um, blur we'll just drag this one in so I need to copy this graph here and then we'll drag this one about here okay and that's it, you're done. So if you want to use that transition for the rest of your edit, just copy and paste the adjustment layer and line it up with the next clips. Um, just, just be careful not to go too high percentage with the exposure, otherwise it will look a bit funny. Um, you'll just barely see the transition, it'll just be way too bright. Now, awesome, if you learned something from that, please leave a like and leave me a comment on what tutorial you want to see next.